Hi everyone, today in Bricktest, how to use MATLAB to plot signs, cosine signals. Okay, first of all, you are good in MATLAB, you can jump in, so you can, you avoid to see this. This is just some, some tips to do this. For example, here on the left, on the bottom, we have all the variables we are creating to plot this for this script script okay so first variables you don't need to tell which one is integer or double or anything you just put the value you want and also something important is that MATLAB use vector vectors and matrices as you can see here a1 is 8 a25 and I um, suspect one, one, uh, 128. Some of them are 32. Okay, something important for this signal. As you know, that is the amplitude assigned to PF, this one T, that I'm putting the name I, and the phase. Okay, something important is your vector, this one, the I, because it's the one you're gonna use to plot your signal, the X axis. Okay, I, I'm gonna plot just one period, so I will put my vector from zero to one period. And you can see here we have three values one two and three this is the beginning this is the end and this is the step you're gonna take how many step i gonna take in one period that depends on you how many you want how many points you want in this case we want 32 points so my frequency sampling will be from 32 multiplied by my frequency and I have my step is 1 divided by FD. So here, this is my vector is going to from 0 to 1 period minus TD because when you create from 0 to 1 period, you have 33 points because you are summing or you are counting the serial value. So you have to take off 1 so you can have 32 points in your graph. And TD. As I said, will be the step in this case. If you go here, TD step is every 0 0.01 will be my step. If I change the frequency, this will change. For example, 5. Let's run so we can see here when it changes. So TD, wait, it's running. Okay, now my sampling will be 0, 0, 0063. And we go here to figure one, and we can see the signal. Okay, something else is the plot and the stem or stem as stem. So as you can see here, we have plot that is the blue one. You see, it's for continuous signals that you want to join all the points, and stem you use for discrete signals you can see here stem is the green one also you can play with your graph you can put the name of the aces this one is n this one is amplitude and title signal is one and is two also you can limit the range you want to see here well, this is all for today. If you have any question, please make a comment. If you want one more video or something else, please comment and share it. Give it a like. Please.